guys what is going on welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to be showing you my top eight finish step profile in the excalibur cup i played in last night uh, my record before top cut was 6-2 so yeah I had a really good experience in the tournament um, the deck played pretty well and uh, before I go into some theory and how the deck works um, I'd really appreciate if you check out the socials below drop my twitch a follow um, I'm currently streaming this on twitch I'm gonna clip it out and put it on my YouTube um, so if you want to see this before anyone else head over to my twitch I'll leave a link in the description of the video also check out my Twitter my Instagram and all my other shit socials below um, I do regular content and I'd really appreciate it if you want to see more videos like this um, to leave a like and a subscribe boost my algorithm boost your algorithm so we all benefit so yeah enough uh, enough ranting I'm gonna go show you guys the deck profile so in front of you we have a Victini VMAX deck playing 4-4 and I pl um, took the decision to play this deck because of the influx in uh, Leafeon. Um, it has a fantastic match against that deck. Um, it's super, like the Pokemon TCG meta really um, it interests me. Like it's, It changes by the day. As we saw last week, loads of Embryon is through. Um, we're creeping up in the meta so everyone started countering that by playing Leafeon so I started to counter the counter by playing uh, Victini um, I think it has a good matchup against Zacian as well and it has a, has a decent matchup against uh, Dragapult so yeah that's my reason behind playing the deck I also think it's quite linear it's, it does the same thing uh, every game and it does it quite well um, you do get occasions where you mulligan a lot. I think that's the main concern when playing 4-4. However, if you go second and you draw a Marnie, you can just mulligan back and simplify the game state that way. So I think it's a really good deck. Um, it's pretty well priced at the moment um, online and in real life. So if you guys have the funds, I certainly recommend trying it out um, and see how we get on. And if you guys um, have played the deck or if you guys are new and have any questions, just drop me a comment below. I'll do my best to answer every single one. So... Yeah, so for uh, Victini, for Victini V Max. So the, the win condition of the deck is to maximize uh, max victory. So it can one hit the majority of V Pokemon and it can two hit the majority of uh, V Maxes. So it's a really, really powerful move. And we can sort of uh, back ourselves up with the support cards that make the strategy more viable um, and diverse in a best of one or best of three format. So we play uh, Crushing Hammers to. Um, sort of control the energy distribution from our opponent uh, we play uh, evolution incense because we want to see our victory v max uh, fan of waves so this is quite an interesting uh tech i played the tournament i was going to play uh the one and then play tool scrapper which i'll explain in a bit but two fan of two fan of waves works because with dragapult so popular it hits that um that horror energy and it also hits the weakness energy from the uh the steel archetype position so it does come up certainly uh it can be quite a blowout so that's why we play that we play the poke gear to uh for more consistency search out support cards like boss's orders to cover game uh again quick ball if we want to set up like a double victini or where our victini vmax is taking a battering we want to set up another victini vmax um we can do that on the bench then set up victini on the bench and then we can utilize our strategy by switching between the two by retreating one go back into the other uh, path of the peak probably the most broken stadium cards uh, at the moment it's it really is defining the meta and um i think that's it's part of shadow riders um demise i suppose <laughs> like this card it had a really like if you set up this card along with your engine it's quite hard to lose um obviously a lot of decks that lose to this are playing the alternate uh, stadium cards that they wouldn't normally play so it, it is quite balanced in my opinion but it's a very strong stadium card that if it doesn't hinder your strategy you should be playing it uh boss's order is quite self-explanatory we want to try and pick off the opponent's bench benches get some uh prizes off that way Marnie to simplify the game state and draw into more uh, energies or uh engine cards research quite standard uh draw power team yard grunt um uh, this was a card uh i would consider drop in in the future i feel like because it take up uh, took up a support uh, slot in the deck if we're chasing the game it doesn't really matter anyway and yeah perhaps we could play around with this uh maybe for like an air balloon or uh, maybe for more items like item cards that give us consistency instead of like a dead support card that we if we're losing the game 
we're going to lose it even, more, even harder now. Uh, rugged Helmet, good energy control. Not a lot to say about this card. I think it's good if you're winning. Uh, if, again, if you're losing. Uh, it, it does give you the opportunity to come back with resources. But again, um, it is a card that could be taken out. Uh, Tool Jammer. I think this card worked absolutely fantastic. Turned off Air Balloon. Stopped people from switching. Um, yeah, really good card. I was I got Tool Scrapped a few times, which sucks. But um, that's the risk when you have to play uh, such an impactful card like Tool Jammer. Especially in this meta. With just so many items. Um, and then the standard energy lineup is the uh, 4 Heat Energy to give our Victini extra 20 HP and the 8 basic fire energy so really standard deck like I said really linear works in the meta with the Rise of Leafeon um, it, it's, it's a really good uh, counterpart and we'll have to see how the meta uh, develops it changes week by week uh, but yeah if you guys want to pick it up it's fairly priced and let me know your thoughts below you know and uh, if you want to see more deck profiles more sort of content like this just drop me a like and drop me a comment as well I